Hey Collective, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. All right, so today is, um, ooh, something about a predator. Oh, what we getting into this early in the afternoon, child? Begging me, oh, please. Why is my, what is going on? Something won't light up. Something will not light up. Somebody cannot reignite something. I hope y'all can see this. It's November 13th and it's 2.43 p.m. November 13th, 2023. Four, I mean, 2.43 p.m. Something won't light up. No light. I don't know somebody done burnt some shit down to the ground that it can never be a point of no return. Something is completely finito. Done. It was faded. And if you didn't know, well, now you know. Okay, so something about 12.46 a.m., whether last night or this morning or something to come. Something about a storm brewing, lightning and thunder some some type of epiphany probably tower moment god forbid this ain't no fire or nothing like that or some type of natural disaster but somebody was fueling something honey that they this like somebody um threw like they lit 144 somebody lit a match and just threw it real quick you know what i'm saying threw it real quick but they didn't expect the um the flame or the for it to ignite the way it did you know or maybe somebody threw something and a curveball plot twist type energy and something is completely done over it or something is come it was just completely like um eradicated in some sense like it's like somebody could have threw a match to light a flame to spark something or thought they threw a threw a little bone or something and that shit got crushed as soon as it fell. It hit. It was over. A spirit did it. Like spirit intervened. Some type of spiritual interference. Or maybe somebody tried to do some magic to interfere into something. Put it where it fit, y'all. When it comes to a storm, a storm that was brewing or something, some type of epiphany, some type of awareness, some type of information, some type of knowledge somebody came into to, to. Um, something about um tuna. Some fishy shit, tuna, um, mayo, some mix up, some wet, wet, um, <laughs> some onions and some peppers. Maybe this is what y'all eating. This is how y'all gonna know. Y'all probably having lunch right now or like a little afternoon snack. Okay. Um, somebody could be realizing something about someone that, that somebody doesn't like them. Something about a first birthday party. Um, I heard J and B. I don't know. I don't know if that's J and B and J and E. I don't know. Something about protect your craft, pay attention. Something about somebody loaning you their car or giving you a car or letting you stay in their place or, you know, something of the store. This could be family. You know, maybe family came up against you or they were ready or somebody is like setting for some type of, maybe somebody feel like something is going to, um, like they try to temper themselves where as far as maybe they feel like there's going to be some tension or animosity, but it's going to be, you know, it's going to be deaded. Like somebody think that they're walking into a whole war zone, but when they get there, it's just going to be like crickets. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody got some type of information like, yo, this bitch is coming. They're going to try to start some trouble or whatever the case may be. And somebody's real hesitant, but somebody could have got some advice or some type of um, message from the divine. Like, just keep your cool. Keep your composure. Don't even say nothing. Don't stress about it or completely disregard or 444 exclude yourself from the situation. Bitch, I felt like I've been rambling for four minutes and ain't talking about nothing. So maybe that's how somebody feel like it's talking to a broken record or somebody just ain't getting it or, you know, like, 
or somebody know now they can't trigger you or get like make you feel uncomfortable or out of pocket or out of line or some shit like that you know i feel like somebody could be calling you too with some drama or some argument or every time they do call this is how they start off with some bullshit it's never nothing positive and you you moving away from that and then you every time it's like this person you could tell they just keep nitpicking and nitpicking and nitpicking but you completely like shut them down every single time to the point where they're just gonna stop fucking calling you or stop coming around or you're just gonna completely disregard this person's invitation at this time them a vampire yeah you understand that they energy drainers they just like to cause hiccups or accidents or every time they come around it's always some bullshit it's always something you're just drained and they're just toxic and low vibe and five five on the clock you know what i'm saying all right i hope that makes sense so let's see what we're working with okay i told y'all what i had to tell y'all it says you need to prepare which you have been some type of in interference um yeah, Virgo. This could be a Virgo who's preparing for some type of challenge or this could be a work situation where every time you bring your ass to work, it's some bullshit first top of the morning and you be like, yo, I just got here. You know what I'm saying? Every day it never fails. Maybe this is something you could be working on and you feel like it's very hard. You feel like there's a lot of obstacles in your way. But you're up for the challenge, especially a Virgo. A Virgo going to break that shit down to a pound. You hear me? So this could definitely be something you're working on. This could be something you're trying to manifest or um, a product you're working on and you're missing one little component or maybe you're going to incorporate some type of herb or that's what you're missing. Maybe some milk. If you know, you know. Some type of milk, yeah. Some type of communication. This could be... um some type of transformation or maybe people are seeing that you communicate different these days or you're learning how to communicate better with people yeah assets how to move and work and incorporate different things and how to really truly go with the flow and stop letting people interfere and interrupt your energy field bitch i know you telling the truth you know what i'm saying yeah see because it says for the challenge here square so somebody could be being a square, you know, yeah, two of swords energy. They trying to have you at a crossroads. Or maybe you feel like every time you talk to this person or come to work or start doing this or start doing that, it's like somebody trying to obstruct something. You saw that. It's like somebody trying to block your shine or something. Creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, motivates pressures into frustrates demand struggles reorientates hurts works out reconciles so this could be somebody who i told you who already burnt down the fucking bridge bitch i mean i gotta watch my mouth i mean burnt it down to the ground or they trying to spark something back up but it's like spirit was like <sighs> blew that fucking match out like it was blocked cut off x this could be an x trying to come back yeah, trying to make something right with this Libra energy or maybe they tried to do this back in Libra season or they was trying to, um, they could have been obsessed or they could have been trying to manipulate something when it comes to the was a legal system to cause some type of hiccup or trying to be strategic and as far as your work or not being fair at work or probably sending you energy to, you know, your boss or yeah making shit this could have been somebody at work that you was dealing with and y'all were intimate and then y'all no longer 9 13 on that y'all could have been intimate but then it just completely closed out and um somebody could be feeling the type of way maybe they want to make it hard for you at work now and you're like bitch move around <laughs> okay you could definitely be having stomach issues maybe you're transitioning from um I'm about to say solid to whole food or whole food to solid solid liquids you know so this could have been all the surgery a stomach surgery or maybe you you had a um maybe you have an ulcer and you have to eat different or you know what i'm saying some of y'all just decided not to eat meat you know i know i don't eat no meat 
Um, what else we gonna use right now? What time is it? Ten minutes in, and I ain't talking about nothing. Yeah, this could be a lover, a Capricorn who was very toxic. Maybe somebody want to work something out or you could have worked with this person. Maybe somebody trying to manifest you. Yeah, something is too hard. Maybe you close yourself off from them. Maybe you completely blocked off your energy field from this person and their concern, you know? This could be a Sagittarius. Maybe somebody's having some type of legal trouble. Or they getting some type of documentation or maybe you're going to be getting some type of documentation about this person. This person could be locked up. Or this person is what this is what they try to cause for you. Or maybe they trying to say they have um some type of they try to say that they can't work due to some type of disability of some sort. Maybe somebody know that um Maybe they're trying to say that you're stable now. You don't need the child support or this could just be you getting a new lawyer of some sort. Or they could see you on your path and they want to change something or they want to come towards you like they've changed, but they're still fucking toxic. Or maybe somebody just want to communicate and they can't. Spirit's blocking them. Because I told you, I seen somebody like throw a match and it had like an adverse effect where... Either something just completely burnt down to the ground. I mean, they burned down the whole fucking bridge or whatever this was to the point where it's of no return. Or somebody wanted to try to reignite or spark something back up with you in another season. And spirit was like, <gasps> spirit completely blew that shit out like a terrible blow to somebody's personal life or romantic life. Or this could have been a lover who found something out about another lover and... It had nothing to do with you. And now they looking at you in a whole different light. Like, damn, you know, maybe I was a karmic to that person or they want a new beginning with the number one here. They want to take a leap of faith to give you something. Or maybe they seem like, yo, this was wish fulfillment and I debted this person for a, a, a karmic, you know, put it where it fit. Maybe you're going to meet somebody in court. You know, maybe you're getting some, some, maybe somebody getting some eviction papers, you know, and they concerned now because it's like how am i going to balance something out or they're just trying to get their foot in or they know like this chapter is completely closed like maybe you're going to have to move or maybe it's just been hard and this is what's being removed out of your life spirit is clearing your path now you know after you know being so concerned or now this person who's been paying somebody to do some fuck shit in behind the scenes or stop you or halt you or whatever the case there something's changing for them maybe they're moving maybe you're meeting somebody somebody's coming in to hold you in high honor or shoot they shot or whatever somebody have you on the brain they done seen you evolve and grow you know what i'm saying so maybe they see how fortunate you are. Maybe you're a part of their fortune or this person has been real distant. Now somebody's health could be affected and it was 13, 11. So this could be happening in present time. Um, Yeah, 11. So this could be happening here in Scorpio season. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have found this out on the 8th or the 2nd between the past two to six days. Or maybe this is happening in the next seven to eight, 10 days or something like that. Yeah, 1031. You could be finding out that you're coming into some type of unexpected income due to somebody passing. Or this could just be the whole disability somebody could have passed. Maybe somebody getting spousal benefits or something like that or a death benefit. My condolences. Yeah, but somebody could have been being fake. They could have hurt this person here due to some type of sudden wealth. Maybe something changed for this person. Put it where it fit. Okay. <sighs> somebody could have emotionally walked away from somebody. This could be you, Virgo. Or somebody could have been walked away from um, extending their hand. Or maybe somebody wanted you to take their hand. Or you just choosing a whole different route. A whole different lover. Yeah, seeing clearly. Yes. So this could be actually what's happened. Like you're no longer focused on a certain lover. Maybe you completely walking away from, you know, these past lovers and you're communicating that you want new love, real love, true love. Or this could just be you, the way you communicate. You seeing clearly that you need to, you know, be more direct, be more assertive, be more grounded, um, be more confident or just 
stop being so attached to certain things that no longer serve, you know? Or you don't have to be like a perfectionist or, you know, Virgos are very meticulous. They will break some shit down to the point of no return to the point where they missed the whole picture. So y'all not doing that no more. Love is definitely beginning. Or somebody just in love with you, Virgo. They love the way you work. They love the way you look at things. They love the way you, they love your perspective. They love how you um, relay information or how you communicate or how loving you truly are or just how hardworking you are, how dedicated and disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I know that's right. Happy outcome. So you definitely seeing something clearly or this could be somebody seeing you very clearly and they could have Virgo placements, Gemini placements, or they just want to create with you. They see how creative you are or, um, you know, they seeing that they could definitely, um, you know, make some beautiful things with you. Maybe y'all going to start a business. Maybe you're going to help this person, um, incorporate. Maybe this person is more business savvy and you're more of a nurturer, carer, or, you the alchemist. You know how to put things together. Maybe you do hexings. Maybe you do hexings. Hexings. Do hexings. Yeah, something could have been stagnant, whether it was your work or your love life, but you're seeing clearly now what you need to do or how to get this prosperity and this success. Maybe just cleansing, you know? Being more um, balanced. Maybe investing more within yourself and stop being so invested in other people or other things like putting yourself last and you know, stop second guessing. Maybe your ancestors have been trying to help you do this. Like be more independent. You know, you don't need nobody by your side. You don't need a whole bunch of people in your business. You don't need to tell everybody what you're doing. Maybe you need to just be more exclusive, you know, and that's, Virgos work very well in Hermit. They work very well, especially when they rely on their own self. The, the, there's no challenge that a Virgo can't create out of. Or maybe this is you. Maybe you create out of conflict. You know what I'm saying? Out of chaos, you transmute. Yes, you transmute energy. 1717, which is 88. Wish fulfillment all across. Remember, double the lesson, double the motherfucking blessing, bitch. Ooh, I can't curse. I don't want to pay y'all no more, child. Yeah. Somebody see you as an opportunity. Or maybe you, you're you done. Maybe somebody want to send you a message to offer you something. You know? Somebody want to team up. Somebody want to be a partner. Somebody definitely want to get on, on page with whatever this is you're doing or creating. Or maybe you created something and somebody loves it. And they're like, shit, I, this person has a different eye. Or maybe you have a different vision that you could help this person bring out their vision. Or this is what you could be doing. Maybe you're a consultant. Maybe you consult. Or maybe somebody see how magical you are. Like... You can make something out of nothing. You know, Queen of Pentacles type energy. This is what I'm getting with this Virgo right here. Somebody could just be fucking obsessed with you. Somebody could daydream about you because I see her like, you know, like somebody is like somebody daydream about just being in your presence or they could look, bitch, I cannot make it up. Are you helping your twin frame grow and come into this harvest? After some type of betrayal, you might going to be getting a message from a motherfucker that you thought was deuce, deuce, honey. Say all in a liking. Farmer said put up on a hun. <laughs> so I'm trying to tell you, somebody could be getting some type of communication from somebody like, yo, I thought you said old girl was this and this and that. I thought you said old boy was this and this and that. Boom, bang, pow, and all this other shit. Everybody, niggas is like, who? Me? I didn't say that. Where? Why? How? And somebody seeing you harvesting, honey. And it's like maybe it's 1919. Maybe somebody could have sat there and said how, um, somebody could have said how you was, um, how they didn't love you or how you was this bad of a person or like really throw some dirt on your name. And then people's like, well, how is this person so abundant if they done did all these things to you? You know what I'm saying? How is this person progressing and moving forward? Or maybe they told this person that you were still bothering them, still calling them, still on their thing thing or whatever you've been stalking. You, you're everything that they've been doing to you. 
like we said in the previous reading. But now it's to the point where people probably seeing you like, I thought you said old girl was busted, disgusted, pressed, and stressed. And same thing with old boy. I thought you said he was on drugs or he was this and this and that. And now they probably looking at you like, this nigga lied or this chick lied or you know what I'm saying? Somebody getting some type of message. Or you could be finding out somebody done partnered up with somebody to do this to you. This could have been a Virgo. I'm hearing 915. Yeah, somebody definitely was on some some toxic shit. And this definitely could have been within the work or whatever you was trying to um bring to fruition. Yeah, somebody talking about it. It's a, been a secret or some secret you about to find out. That's completely going to either reignite something or burn the shit down to the pussy clock ground to the point where it ain't never coming back, honey. So maybe somebody's being exposed. Maybe something's coming out. This could have been about somebody's health. Somebody could have been praying like, listen, they might not want you to find out. This could have been somebody who was sleeping with your person. Yeah, look, this person you could have went to bat for. This could have been a friend. It was 2113. So definitely some type of new beginning or somebody. This could have been somebody younger than you or somebody could have just been hella immature and took some type of risk to have you in some hangman energy. But yeah, they gossiping about it now because people are aware. They see you independent. They could have said that you, they see that you doing your shit. You winning. And it's like this person was praying for something not to change for you, but it did. It's like they prayed you right into your blessing. Yeah, somebody see you like, yo, this person wasn't warring with this person. It was all bullshit. Gossip. Yeah, somebody's definitely doing their research now because they seeing like somebody was not being truthful. Somebody was not being honest. They were just trying to cover their ass up and their dirty little deeds. Yes, my baby. You okay? Yes. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh? You want some soup? All right. He said he wants somebody to play with. I gotta get my baby a dog, y'all. <laughs> I got to get my baby a dog. You can't have a girl and never know she complain. So somebody could have been complaining, but yeah, they were praying with ill intention or they were trying to manifest or curse you. Or I'm seeing a curse in here. Yeah. They could have been cursed you into poverty or obstacles, or toxic commitments, relationships. They could have been paying somebody. They could have been paying a reader or a spiritualist to do this, to cause you some type of conflict. We've been getting this. This fucking plan, though, ain't working. It ain't working. Because they're caught up. They wanted to trap you up, and you still catching a blessing. Something could have happened on 915. This could be your birthday. Maybe I need to look up that number 915. Yeah, this could have been, yeah. Something could have happened at a celebration or somebody see you celebrating with a new lover. You give it, girl, y'all give my body name. So somebody could have definitely been slaughtering your character out here, child. Look, accurate. Y'all see it on the bottom? Accurate. Yeah, and you out here about to harvest, yo. Look. That's the truth. But let's moving right along. I heard, don't be telling me to move right along like this is the Game of Thrones. Somebody mad. Somebody's questioning somebody's sexuality too. And it's like, why does that even matter? Is are, Do we need to be concerned about your sexuality? What does it matter if this person like the opposite sex? Why do you care? You know what I'm saying? Why do you care? What is the big issue? So something about partying, getting together. Maybe somebody saw somebody with a lover. Yeah, somebody could be in separation or they are very regretful for separating. They realizing something. Now, I feel like somebody do want to come back and extend some type of olive branch, but it's just they know they can't be with you. Somebody realizing something that their actions and their behaviors is what has caused this whole this whole split or demise of this relationship or this connection or whatever this may be. 
It's like somebody should have fixed something so long ago, but their pride and ego, Leo energy, they, you know what I'm saying? And you, you Virgo, you the one who dismantle people's, um, false beliefs and toxic values or ways of being. And you get motherfuckers all the way together. You get them in line with whether whatever communication you have people see how toxic and conniving and ruthless they truly are and you make people aware of how they need to be changing ground their ass right back in up to come into libra season to balance their shit out come scorpio closing it out okay and it's time to get on a new path new way see shit for what it truly is so you can reap your benefits come capricorn season bitch i know you i know that's right yeah you set motherfuckers free. Told you. <laughs> Somebody know why this, this relationship is done. This You not working with them. They know why this shit is over. And this has to be over. They know they cannot be in your life. They cannot come where you are going. You are no longer focused on them. And they don't have nobody to blame but themselves. Okay? They don't have nobody to blame but their own behavior. Yeah, somebody from the past is suffering right now because they knew they were supposed to come and renew something. You see this shit? A masculine. This person was being guided towards you. Spirit was trying to help them free themselves from this distance. But no, they wanted to be in their ego trying to control something and being closed off and selfish and hard-headed. Hard-headed make a pussy clot ass instead of releasing and being more vulnerable and coming and getting out of that... Um, Whatever belief system they had and come and fucking apologize. Ace of air. Communicate effectively. But no, they rather be in separation. Now they begging for forgiveness because they realize you was the motherfucking prize. Bitch, ace of swords. This could be somebody you have a family with who is a twin fucking flame. We still back on this shit. I can't. <sighs> yeah, somebody has emotionally walked away. From a Sagittarius. Or somebody walked away from an earth angel. Or somebody want to come back and balance some shit out. Reconcile and they just don't know how to. This could be somebody you have a family with. This could be somebody you have a child with. Somebody could be trying to manifest you. This person could be very intuitive. They could be a reader themselves. You could be a reader. Yeah, somebody loves you. Or they should have came back. Possibly in Libra season. Or they wanted to. But spirit was like, no bitch. Look, somebody has been waiting, but the karmic cycle is already closed out. Look, and that they knew that, or you could have known it because they lied. Now they stuck because they weren't able to come in and speak their truth. This could be somebody who's going mad, like we said, over a lie, over some toxicity, over just being jealous and just egotistical and just it's like they said so many lies there's no way they could come back from there. they don't surrounded themselves with so many lies about you put on a facade or a show or made people think what i don't know made people think that you were the issue you're the reason why they're getting karma or you, you know what i'm saying or this person is not as intuitive this person is this is the one why I'm having all these delays because they stole from me or they lied or they've been working with a witch or some shit or something. Or you was with third parties. You went to that third party shit, but it was fated to go just like this. And now they see that they should have came back and did something, said something, or tried to salvage the relationship or to work something out. But no, that ego, baby, I'm trying to tell you. Now they see you moving forward and getting the recognition or the accomplishing something that they didn't have or having just the courage to stand on something. Because you fought, what, the, what was that saying? But what they said, if you, what bad mind? Um, they said, if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. Or y'all know that saying. Yeah. Call your bad mind, sir. Yeah, this person could have just been jealous. Or they're jealous now that you really standing up for yourself and taking strives to create and build and evolve, you know? 
Now somebody's obsessed with you. Seven of Pentacles. I hear something like a baby like, oh. Two of Cups, yeah. This could have been a friend who now want to have equal give and take. But what's this Virgo spirit? It said yes. Yeah, this person is obsessed now. But what if 30, 33, this person is obsessed secretly. Look, they are obsessed because they are burdened by not being able to come towards you. It's like this person is the pit of their stomach. They're having a lot of stomach issues. They could just be turby, twisty. Their number stomach could be in knots. Or they try to knot your ass up. Yep. Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody is sick. They want to heal something. They can't. They possibly don't know how to. Um, you put their ass down. Yeah, you're not trying to celebrate with this person. You know this person is jealous of you. They could have been doing black magic on you. They could have been trying to pay somebody to do this. Them or that. This is a. a um, they were grounded. They, they could have been trying to do some root work when it comes to your celebration. It's a bad but crosses, boy. How your bad mind, sir? So this could be definitely a lover being jealous of you. Yeah, somebody's burdened by the relationship you could be in, how stable you are, how you're being celebrated, how you're being seen, um, who's offering you something, then possibly can't be able to offer you anything. I mean, very emotionally. I feel like somebody's having some toxic um, dreams about you. This person could just be um, evil eyeing you because this looked like an evil eye card. It looked like a big ass, you know, and they just, it's like this person is is focused, laser focused on you. This person could have five kids. This person could be seeing red. They might want to express some type of truth. They could have lied about a child. Or this could be somebody who working with um other family members. This could have been somebody who's seen you grow. Yo, I'm getting hotter than a mug, and I turn that heat off. This could be a graffiti artist. This person could be an artist. They could tag a lot. They could have, like, a lot of tattoos. They could have a sleeve tattoo. No, they don't have to. This person could be in the medical field. They could work out of school. I can't see what that is. This person could do a lot of dream work. They could astral project a lot. Yeah, this could be an Aries, an emperor, a boss figure. Somebody, or you just standing in your power. And this devil is secretly blocked. Somebody could be trying to call you in a dream state. They could be trying to um, get up in your dreams. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies and doves and shit. When you, you might need to take a spiritual bath. This person could be seeing you um, celebrate with another lover in their dreams. This shit is driving them insane. Somebody could have seen you recently in passing. I heard somebody driving by your house. This definitely could be a Capricorn, a boss figure, somebody you could have worked with, or somebody who could have worked on make, causing a lot of challenges for you. This person could have been in a cult. Yeah, they being judged. I can't. We moving right along. Let me get one card for this shit, and we... Oh, this Virgo was the... um Yeah, Virgo. 
They see how confident and beautiful you are, intuitive, magical, standing in your power. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody lost out. Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody lost out. Somebody could have ghosted you. Okay, y'all could have had like a little, you know, this is what they want to do or... Somebody might want to come in to knock your confidence, like knock you off of your peg, I heard. Knock you off a peg. So you could be drowning in your emotions that they ghosted, they left you. Or maybe now somebody is like investigating. Maybe somebody could be researching you because we did see that. Maybe somebody is really like, um, maybe somebody's intrigued with, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe somebody want to come towards you after leaving you out. A king of pentacles. Somebody who tried to betray you or betrayed you. Let's just get one. Yeah, nine of wands. Somebody feel hella defeated. You've been protected from this person or spirit has been helping you close out this cycle. You're going to be celebrating, especially whatever you've been um, working on, manifesting. This could just be travel. You are going to be emotionally fulfilled. Celebrating achievements. Congratulations. Remember I said in another video, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You're going to be partying. Four wands energy. Somebody's probably going to, you're going to be dating, going out, having a good time. Just really being celebrated. Like possibly bought a new home. Because we saw real estate in a, um, another reading where it said some of y'all could be buying a new home. And remember that video from that, that, um lovely Mimi where I was like um somebody was buying a house but it was like buying it as is or this could be somebody going into foreclosure this could be these people and you might be buying a fucking house you know what I'm saying who knows or maybe that's what you're looking into like a, a fixer upper type shit maybe that's the that's what you're investing in you know you and this lover gonna go into real estate or maybe this is a real estate mogul and you just know how to do the aesthetics and shit like that so remember I was saying that so Put it where it fit. It's all good shit to me. You're going to be celebrated. Maybe y'all going to... um, Maybe somebody celebrating their 15th anniversary or something like that. Nine-year anniversary. Something about 9-9. Nine, nine. Something is completely done. Y'all have learned a spiritual lesson about toxic lovers, toxic relationship. Um, any type of codependency. Any type of um, envious, jealous, or certain connections or bonds or soul ties or... You know, certain when you need to closing out certain things in order to fully step in. Yeah, karmic completion, travel. I said something about that. Yeah, so some of y'all just, maybe whatever y'all working on is going to take y'all off. Y'all going to meet this person while you traveling, while you out, um, you know, maybe you're at the eye doctor. We've been said it and this look like, um, oh my God. So something, y'all cannot see something. Something about um, some type of opening, you know. Some of y'all definitely could be tarot card readers or some tarot card readers could be out here overindulging. Maybe they are binge watching a lot of tarot card readings. Yeah. Or well, somebody might be imagining um, collaborating with you. Or maybe somebody's trying to figure out how they can cause some type of illusion so you could have some accident when it comes to work. Bitch, how you gonna do that? Well, somebody try to cause you some type of hiccup. I told you some type of root work, but it ain't working. That shit is done. They could have buried something. Some of y'all could be 22 life path or master manifestors. Your life path could be an 11, could be four, could be two. You could be very intimidating. Things that you're creating and doing are very... um. You bring a lot of life to things. You could be a gardener. 
you might want to be a gardener you want to might want to start planting things or whatever you planted back in virgo season could be moving forward now or somebody been watching you since then or they could have been watching you since april back in taurus season or somebody did something back maybe 22 days ago they've been doing something since 2022 77 spirit been trying to tell them to stop they're gonna have a tower it's gonna be a tower for them now somebody's overloaded because whatever they try to do it's not gonna work honey <laughs> you still getting this win it's like somebody could have tried to um hack your computer or hack some type of paperwork or i'm you know what i'm seeing i remember this dude right this nigga saw he was some top-notch baller type nigga or he was just on it. He was so busy. He's the only one with businesses. He's the only one who have a family and kids and working and a multiple jobs and all this shit. And you're like, bitch, everybody out here doing the same fucking thing. Why, you know, like trying to downplay you or knock you like you ain't who you say you are. And so this person was like, oh, um... Can you help me do my taxes? Bitch, I'm not licensed or a professional to do that. I'm not an accountant. Like, he was like, well, who do yours? Why? <laughs> Why does that matter? You've been so business oriented, been on your shit, been doing this, been doing that. It's like niggas pick and choose when they want to act like an adult. Or they think you're just so fucking stupid and dumb that you're just going to be like, okay. Like... You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, don't worry about it. I have somebody who do my shit. What you need? Oh, I need you to help me do do my do your taxes. Um uh, I don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Go to TurboTax. I don't know. And then they were like, oh, um. So they call me like, oh, I'm about to come to your house right now because you're going to help me, right? And I'm like, I can help you go online and find out where you could do your taxes. I can't do it for you. Oh, no, but I thought that maybe you could, you know what I'm saying? I could use your computer. Use whose computer to do what? So you could put in, hack my shit, nigga. I remember the nigga used to be like, oh, what's your Wi-Fi? Nigga, I don't give nobody my Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker went to school for digital um, engineer or whatever the fuck they call it, or graphic design, and they went to school for business. But you will not hack my shit. Absolutely not. Okay? Yeah. So somebody could have tried to do some paper trail using your IP or your computer or wanted to set something up to, like, get you caught up or, you know what I'm saying? But no. You're going to be getting proof of this. Somebody could have did this. You know what I'm saying? They ain't think twice about that shit. This could definitely be a friend. So, I don't know. Put it where it fit. It was all over the fucking place today. What's this, Virgo? Yeah. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold. They wanted you to be broke. They didn't want you to have no type of success when it comes to love. They've been planning this for a long time, man. Maybe they wanted to come in like they wanted to have a commitment with you. Or whoever this was who was supposed to come back and fix some things. Maybe this is what they were doing on the back end with another lover. Yeah. Whoever this Gemini is, whoever this Capricorn is, they are scared now. Because they possibly losing their job. They're probably poor, like we said. And I said this. They're probably the one going through all these hiccups when it comes to work. Yeah, they could be going to jail for some fraudulent shit. Ponzi scheme energy, wire fraud, all of that shit. Stealing people products. They could be going to... Yeah, I cannot. Well, you seen clearly that this person was a karmic and you had to close this shit out. Look, they were trying to cause you some type of natural disaster. Like I said in the beginning, they vowed to this shit. Or this could be a tarot card reader or they did not want you to commit to doing this but spirit was like bitch i know you lying this is your calling you understand who gonna cause what natural what no or this could be a tarot card reader going through this shit 
or somebody should have listened to their motherfucking intuition and came out of some type of dream state they were in. What's this celebration? Yeah. Whatever you're working on, it will prevail. And they not stop nothing. I'm trying to tell you, the accident, somebody was getting coached into doing this shit. This could have been a couple. Or maybe this is somebody who you were supposed to marry. This could have been your twin flame. This could be somebody who was destined to this. Somebody could have made you a promise in the past. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to sell you some type of dreams. And spirit was telling them to fucking stop. Stop doing this. This shit is not going to work out in your best interest. They could have been trying to pay people to bully you, cause you some type of hiccup, or this could have been the job. Or maybe that's why Spirit was telling you to quit that job, leave that person alone, don't do that. Or this could be somebody in the tarot community who was doing this to somebody else so they don't do spiritual work or they don't become this alchemist or they don't continue to work on something that they truly love. But y'all seeing clearly like this is what y'all supposed to be doing. This is how you're going to be celebrated across the world and people are fucking burdened and feeling like fucking defeated. Because you were protected and you never stopped. You always kept going no matter how hard it was. You always move forward and that's why you're going to prevail. What's this world card? Yeah, you're going to be gaining. And it's going to be seen on a world scale. You're going to be able to travel. You know what I'm saying? This is why you're gaining because you close out these karmic sessions. You learn these spiritual lessons with 25 here, 7. You in alignment. You definitely changing. You're going to profit, yeah. What did I say? Conclusion, you closed out. Something is over. You're going to be able to save, especially if you was going through something where you had a little bit of hiccup and um, you could be a life coach or some type of coach. Um, you could be a financial advisor as well with the savings here. Um, this could be your spirit guys that's bringing you this generational wealth. What's this um, nine of wands? Yeah, somebody got stopped and they fucking trapped because you love yourself or you loved yourself enough to stop beating yourself up when it comes to these people and you withdrew from anything that was no longer serving you. Yeah, with this nine of wands here, you were being protected. Spirit told you to stop putting people before yourself. Stop dealing with motherfuckers that don't have no good intention for you. Stop dealing with certain things that is not for your highest and greatest good. And I told you, as a Virgo, we are love to fix it. Mrs. Fix it, Mr. Fix it type shit. We come to these lovers. We be, we be knowing shit don't be right, but we want to help so much and do so much that we always end up with the short end of the stick. But now we seeing like you got to close out certain things. Okay, you seeing who the third party was or, or seeing how these people were karmic to your destiny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's get one card to close out. Your money and your pride. My number one, the wicked is right. No matter if you're rich or you're poor. You probably just had a lot of fate. Yeah, dream thief, refusal of the call. Yeah, somebody refused to stop, man. Divine feminine. This could be a Gemini 613. Something about a fucking Gemini on some demon time or what you've been creating. They've been trying to end that. Magician energy. They was trying to throw some magic in the mix. Or you're just very creative at this time. Right here now in Scorpio, you could have a Gemini in... Um, You could have a Gemini uh, moon. Magician energy. You know how to manifest out the woo-ha. Or maybe you've been refusing to use magic and spirit was like, we trying to tell you to tap, tap, tap in. And you started creating with all the elements. Some of y'all could be galactic beings because I'm seeing the vessel look. I'm seeing somebody head right here with the arms and shit. And this is somebody heart or this look like a fetus to me on some old alien shit. Remember alien 
when she had the thing, it was like right up in here. Now, 49 49. She had the alien right here. And that shit bust her whole shit open like this. Some type of opening, maybe some type of epiphany, some type of spirit stop something, or you purged, or ding a ling a ling. What? What? Ding a ling a ling. Some type of bell went off. They rung some type of alarm. You did something. Maybe in the dream state, somebody could have been crystal ball scrying and astral projecting. This is how they could have been coming in the dream state, but you was well grounded. Look, they could have been trying to tap up into your Akashic to see what you had coming towards you, or they could have been dreaming about you celebrating and having a good time. Yeah, told you, spiritually fucking spying, but you saw they ass, and so did the ancestors. Look, like we see you. We see you. Knife and fuck a fight for dumpling. Yeah, they wanted your fortune. They didn't want the wheel to turn. They didn't want you to get this um abundance. Look. They didn't want you to get this abundance. Let's read the dream thief. Yeah, they could have definitely been scrying. Some of y'all could be shamans. Maybe some, some of y'all were looking at something completely wrong and you needed to like step back and readjust your lens a little bit. This could be some of y'all getting new glasses. <laughs> we still on this. Go get your eyes checked. What's wrong with y'all? Are oh, y'all seeing something now? Clear. Yeah, you are seeing something clear about who the third wheel was. Who was the enemy? Yeah. Who was infiltrating your camp? Who this, this lover was, how toxic this situation was, how this person really wanted to keep you out in the cold. This could definitely be a um, Scorpio, a Capricorn, Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn is here heavy. Scorpio energy. Somebody birthday could be today. Happy birthday. Oh, big up on the self. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You know? Well, you could be getting some type of love offer from a friend. This could be a boss. Or you and your boss became real close and now they want to make you some type of offer. They have grew very fond of you. They see how much self-love self -love you have, how intuitive you are. You know, they could have been keeping this a secret from you. Or maybe you could have been a third party and now they want to um, make it official, child. Put it where it fit. Put it where it fit. A dream thief, rejection of the path of fulfillment, refusal of the call. Yeah, somebody wanted you to feel rejected. They didn't want you to feel like um, there was any in abundance in magic or using your magic or trying to stifle you in some sense, you know, or there's no hope in love. But you're seeing that as bullshit. These people are just karmic. They they needed to, um, these people um, on your path help you um, elevate and get on your journey. And you realize like they needed to, all of, everything that happened needed to happen exactly how it did in order to, blah, 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 in order for you to be able to fulfill your destiny, your calling. They wanted you to refuse this. They were trying to come into your dreams to see what was going on and how to stop this, how to how to make you fail in some sense, but how to cause you some type of anxiety or or negative thinking or being stuck or looping and continuing to be some type of third party or some type of interference, but they can't do it. And I told you, spirit intervened. You, I feel like this is the spirit. Spirit like, what happened now? These could be the, the 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 your spirits. Maybe you done formed a bond with um some malevolent. Is it malevolent? The bad ones. <laughs> and you know, maybe you have ancestors on both sides. I saw the light ancestors on both sides that about it, and maybe it was the the lower vibrational ones who was like, "Bet, bitch." Who dreams you trying to come into and do what? Nah, nigga. We not might we might not be on the same page when it comes to light and dark, but best believe we balanced around her. Okay. Okay, so dream thief. 
The dream thief is a soft and com compelling seductress. Didn't we say something about seductress yesterday or the day before? One of them other videos I did from um, the 10th is still loading. I had did a video that afternoon. It was like, lean on me. Somebody was going through something. When you're not strong. So, yeah, that video was still loading. Um, her only purpose is to keep you hypnotized by comfort and sameness. She wants you to tell your old stories over and over so you don't evolve beyond them. Ask yourself whether you are reverting back to the familiar, familiar, familiarity of your origin story of why you were wounded or when you were rejected. Trying to play on your old past hurts and trauma so you can stay stuck and not close out this so you don't gain or be fulfilled in whatever you think you're working on and be able to be celebrated. No, bitch. And now I go walk. Okay. Anywho, moving right along. It says, do you talk about how your family molded you as a child without also acknowledging that you've always become someone else? Which I said. I said that. Everything on your journey, on your path had to happen exactly how it did. No matter how bad or good it was, you needed to go through it in order to be able to fully step into this calling. Teaching from old wounds will never allow you a new adventure. Instead, bring to your mind how you've already changed, remembering that you have new stories to rely and build upon. Do you want to move beyond the barrier of glass you've placed between you and the horizon? You can, and it's not difficult. Answer the call to a new adventure and drop your resistance to sailing the uncharted seas of your potential. The wind will soothe and sing the dream thief to sleep so you can wake up and move forward. You are so much more than you know. Now is the time to expre express what has lain dormant. Your new adventure has already begun. 5656. What more can I say, collective? This is some good shit. I said it. You guys are working towards new. You are manifesting every single thing that you need for yourself. And you're not letting anybody stop that. Okay, you're not being stuck in your head. You're not being scared. You are ready for the change. You are ready to transform. You are ready to try. You are ready to wield your wand on a whole different level. When I tell you Gemini energy, Virgo energy, y'all can have a Gemini, um, a Virgo, Mercury, Libra. You done with third parties or letting people interfere. If it's, if it's not coming from spirit or maybe spirit going to um, intervene when it comes to making sure something is completely shut out of your life. A cycle, a phase, whatever this may be. You completed something in order to gain this abundance. Yeah. You could have had three past lives with whoever this person was or... Whatever this twin flame is, maybe this karmic energy, this person was just sent to stop you from elevating. You're realizing they're karmic. They're not no twin flame. They're not no... And even if they were, the contract is being rewritten. You could have asked spirit for a cord cutting or not even a cord cut because you can't cord cut a, a twin flame, but you possibly asked them to um, divorce them. Okay? divorce them completely shut them out of your life or give you the peace of mind that you need in order to 